Hi, this is Eric Hutchinson. I'm the principal broker and owner of Hutchinson Realty, and this is video two of a video series called Negotiating Your Next Home. We talked about financing in our last video, and in this video, we're going to talk about agency. Agency is just a term that we use to describe who the realtor represents. We're going to talk about the different options for buyers and sellers, and so let's get into it. If I go to the real estate contract on page three, it talks about agency and who the realtor represents in this real estate transaction. Now, just so that you know, realtors are supposed to disclose agency at first contact. When a buyer meets a realtor out of the house before the realtor shows the property, they should disclose at least verbally who they represent. If they're the listing agent, they represent the seller. Arkansas law allows that agent to also represent the buyer, which we call dual agency, or the agent could represent only the buyer. But if it's the listing agent, they already have an agreement to represent the seller. So the best that they can offer the buyer is what we call dual agency. But they should disclose that to you before you get to the contract. But during the on the contract, realtors have to disclose to both parties who they represent. So if you look over here, A says listing firm and selling firm represent the seller. So this would be in the case where a buyer did not want representation and wanted to represent themselves. And believe it or not, that happens occasionally, not a lot, but occasionally where a buyer says, I don't want the realtor to represent me, I can represent myself. And so the listing agent, if they already represent the seller, then they would represent the seller only and there would be no buyer representation. Also, when a realtor sells their own house and it's for sale by a realtor owned property, then they would also represent themselves, which is the seller, and the buyer would have to either be represented by another realtor, an attorney, or the buyer would represent themselves. And so we don't check letter A a lot, uh, but it does happen, and sometimes buyers don't want representation. Letter B is the most popular. Listing firm represents seller, and selling firm represents buyer. This is when there are two realtors involved in a real estate transaction, and one realtor represents the buyer, and one re realtor represents the seller. It's very clean cut. There is no conflict of interest, and both realtors represent their clients respectively. So that's the most popular, and we've got over 3,000 realtors in Northwest Arkansas, and so buyers and sellers are usually represented by their own respective realtors. However, sometimes buyers drive by a house, they see a yard sign, and they make a phone call to the listing agent. And that listing agent goes, sure, I'll be happy to show that property to you. They are supposed to disclose to the buyer that they already represent the seller, but that they can offer the buyer dual agency, meaning that they represent both parties. That is item number C on the real estate contract. Notice that item number C is the largest of the four paragraphs. It's because it's the most complicated. The agent is, by definition, being a dual agent is a conflict of interest. They represent two parties, which is really hard to do. The agent is not supposed to give any personal information out about either party, which is usually the buyer's top dollar and the seller's bottom dollar. The agent can answer any questions about the property itself and cannot hide anything about the property. And so the agent has to be honest about the property. But when it comes to the client, for instance, why the seller may be selling the property, he may be uh, moving somewhere and maybe really um, anxious to move, maybe a spouse has passed away, maybe there's a divorce, maybe there's something going on that the seller doesn't want disclosed. The agent cannot disclose that. Same thing, the buyer may only have a few days here visiting from out of town to find a house, and that would be good information for the seller to know, and that buyer probably doesn't want the seller to know that. But most popular, the most popular item is usually the buyer's top dollar and the seller's bottom dollar. And many times buyers will ask, hey, how much do you think the seller will take for this property? And I always say, I can't answer that question. I can tell you that the house is listed at 200,000 and I know that the seller would take that, but I cannot recommend to you what to offer on this property. You see, you can be honest, an agent can be honest without giving away personal information. And sometimes that honest answer is, I just can't answer that. So item number D is selling firm represents buyer, no listing firm. So that's an interesting scenario. That's whenever 
a buyer wants to see a for sale by owner and the buyer is represented by a realtor and the buyer's agent, the realtor, goes to the seller and gives them what we call a permission to show agreement. And that permission to show clearly states that the realtor represents the buyer only and does not represent the seller at all. And the seller would need to either get representation from an attorney, another realtor, or in most cases, the seller just represents themselves. But that's what item D says, is that the realtor is going to represent the buyer, but there is no listing firm. This is usually what we call a for sale by owner. And that happens fairly often. And I usually sell a few for sale by owners each year. So these are the four options that we have in our real estate contract, but you as a buyer need to know before you get to the contract who your realtor represents. And it's really important that they disclose to you who they represent. If you are the seller, make sure that you understand that if the realtor or someone from their company shows your property, they usually are going to be what we call a dual agent. So I hope that this all makes sense to you and I hope that this was informative. So you can always reach out to me at info at hutchrealty.com or you can visit our website at hutchrealty.com where you can visit every listing in Northwest Arkansas, not just our listings, but every listing. So I hope that you'll reach out, that you'll ask questions and that you will use our services. Thank you for listening. I hope this was a good informational video for you. May God bless you and keep you.